Learning to Rationalize Our Emotions, Robotics and Diplomacy, Introduction, The Process of Natural Selection in Relation to Global Ecology, Specifically Bipedal Mammals, has produced a dominant presence and geographically diverse prevalence of the Homo sapiens species. A key acknowledgement must be given to the development of human linguistics. The success of Homo sapiens in contrast to the failures of their now extinct bipedal competitors lies in the complexity and range of their vocal organs. A brief review of the history of human linguistic development would begin with simplistic grunts and howls, spoken words, printing, etc. Ending with a global high-speed internet network. Regardless of the human being's physical attributes poised against those of a predator of another species, the ability to communicate and cooperate effectively gave the Homo sapien an unbeatable advantage even against the largest and most ferocious of foes. Now, after having collectively proven to all the known species of Earth, Homo sapien dominance over a span including thousands of years in recorded history. Beginning with the use of primitive tools and the discovery of fire, human beings have forged out of nature, its very self, a biosphere that is removed in great part from competition with the other animals of Earth. Humans have become the architects of their own environment, removing a vast majority of the human species population from the more unforgiving eat or be eaten laws of nature in remarkable fashion. Raised and erected, upon the canvas of nature in the 21st century, are sprawling metropolis cities which contend and influence the ecology of the globe. When connected by the use of biologically impossible methods of transportation, and a network of miraculously intuitive methods of telecommunication, the scope of influence that Homo sapien may have on the universe is infinite, if only the species could unite in symbiotic cooperation. There exist on Earth a vast plethora of expressed genetic variation among the Homo sapien species. Significant differences in variation and expressed traits have merely developed over time in environmental and geographical accordance with the fundamental principles of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, the origin of species. Why then must the disparate genetic manifestations of the Homo sapien species exist at conflict with one another for any reason? Is persistent ethnic and cultural conflict an unavoidable and instinctual necessity for evolutionary development? Perhaps humans simply perpetuate conflict among themselves because a threat to the survivability of the species could not be found anywhere else. Humans excel in their efforts of collective survival when human genetic variation is optimized and aimed towards a cooperative goal. Utilizing social and cultural constructs mores and folkways, and relying upon the linguistic application of diplomatic negotiation, human beings are capable of living in relative peace and in close proximity to others despite their vast genetic differences. The mental aptitude of the human being pursuant to both rational and creative constructive endeavors, coupled with a primordial drive to obtain universal knowledge, has been the catalyst for the historical success and advancement of the species. This has produced a basic understanding that humankind is the master of this earthly domain. Despite the modern sophistication of human scientific and philosophic understanding, humans have not been able to break away completely from their more animalistic instinctual tendencies. A malaise reigns over the brilliance of the human mind, a constant and melancholy reminder to the species' collectively flawed attempts at diverse cooperation with one another. A revolving history, hinged upon long periods of hierarchical subjugation and punctuated by brief and exciting moments of reformation, plays out before the eyes and ears of each generational populace. Periodically, tragic reenactments of the species' tribalistic kill-or-be-killed past comes to the forefront of the collective human attention. The concepts of warfare and crime exist as the most prevalent examples of human imperfection, the inability at times to resist the instinctual urges of the species' mammalian class. Fortunately, 
The human brain through the applicable use of the cerebral cortex has the capacity to rationalize these urges and determine reactions to stimuli that are more complex than the fight or flight options afforded to animals of a lesser cerebral capacity. Humankind must remember that all members of its population are capable of reacting to particularly stressful experiences in an identically primal animalistic manner. Understanding the principles established by the algorithmic foundations of robotics and diplomacy and applying human psychological behaviorism to the formula, the species may, given meditative effort, be able to more readily understand the emotional and instinctual triggers of their self-defined environment. A detailed method for rationalizing human emotions and promoting the virtues of logical reasoning in responses to stimuli must be delineated to the human populace under the objective banner, Esprit de Cooperation Pacifique. Spirit of Peace and Cooperation